Welcome Shut to down. R&D with myself, Dan. And we're playing Mass Effect here. We're about to head back out into the wide, crazy universe. Head over to... Uh, I don't know if we want to do... Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. <gasps> Rachni War. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a That's rare nice. admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. And then we cut the balls off. Just saying. Just want to put that out there. Just saying. So we're going to head back out into the, uh, the wild, crazy universe. See what's going on out there. Enter the Normandy through the animal. Stand by, shore party. Hey, Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Remember to like and favorite and subscribe if you enjoy this video series. We love doing video content for you folks as we enjoy podcasting. Every like, favorite, and subscribe helps us keep on going just a little bit longer. Jeremiah or Pharos? Yes, I want to travel. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Oh, what's this? Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. <gasps> An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. Hmm. This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Hmm. Okay, we're taking a detour. We're gonna go find this guy. Let's see, Cerberus. A Voyager cluster Yangtze system. It sounds important.
Alright, let's head down there. We got a rear admiral to save. If you know what I mean. see where we're going here we got lots of research facilities so let's go to this one oh, we got a mineral deposit too we may as well hit it I don't remember how surveying those minerals helps in Mass Effect 2 and 3, but I do believe it affects in some small way. out folks well this place is kind of sterile Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. Yeah, no shit, Skippy. See what's in the other two bases here. There's a couple major Cerberus missions as side quests that you can get that, in all honesty, I recommend anyone who plays this game get through because they really do affect Mass Effect 2, especially. Multiple characters will talk about these missions in the next game. And that's that adds on to something I was saying earlier that. Everything you do in each of the games continues to build on itself and, and grow and change the story and add to it. Or if you did something really bad or wrong or maybe you completely skipped over something because you didn't feel, you know, it was a paragon or a renegade kind of choice, things will be excluded. Things will be missing simply because you decided your character, your shepherd, wasn't one to do that kind of thing. And I like that as well. It's not a one over zero situation. It's many different shades of gray of, of all the different activities you could have done with your shepherd. 
Not to say that they carry that pattern on well to the end of Mass Effect 3, but for the most part, it's done. Stage of the troops. Nothing. Sterile environment, another sterile environment. These things will explode after a certain time period if you don't get to them. Like as you can see, I didn't. I ah, touched him. Gotcha. Okay, let's open this thing up. We'll find at the next base. Who knows, Tally? As long as your sexy ass is there as well. Got a lot of medical stations this time. Ah, fuck balls. Think we got him, Commander. Ooh, light Corian armor. Let's get out of here, Chief. Let me ask you this, audience members. What's your favorite statistic or event that carries over from Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 3. There's a lot of them. I know there's a lot of them, but that's why I'm curious. I want to see what everyone thinks is the best thing that carries over from 1 to 3, or 1 to 2, or 2 to 3. Whatever it is, put it in the comments, discuss it with the other viewers, and let me know what you think. Nuclear bombs. Nuclear bombs are fun. Ooh, what the fuck? Let me out. Yes, I want to recover this artifact, god damn it. Ooh. Nice.
last one. Kohoku has to be here. This one's a little less empty. Ooh, yeah. Free shit. I'll take all that. Okay, so in the next episode of Dan Plays Shit, Mass Effect, you gotta head inside and see if we can't find Kohoku. Watch YouTube.com slash Robin Dan Jones.